good. What happened? Um, the screen you put on. Yeah. Uh, he was telling me you, you might get some more in. What? He was telling me you might get some more in. Because the one that you put on is tinted, I guess, and it's thicker. Take it down. Those are permanent there. You can always take it off. It's not like it's not going to be there. I'm sorry, I went to college. Let me, let me finish talking. You told me to come back later on Monday. You told me to come back later on Monday. Right, that's why I called yesterday and one of you hung up on me and so no, I drive up here twice. What, why are we arguing? Well, no, we are arguing. And before I get to come here and say, please tell me that you didn't do anything to my phone. He told me, let me please speak. When he put, when you started to put the screen on, it was a clear screen. Yeah. And then I guess you said that he touched it, so you couldn't use it. I don't know. You took off the clear screen and then put on a tinted one and said it was better because you had the privacy. Yeah. So I guess that was the last clear one that you had. Yeah. So. That left me with the tinted one, which I didn't really care, except the phone hasn't worked right since because I have to hit it like 10 times to get it to do things sometimes. And I assume, I wasn't mad, and I assume that, let me, let me just, let me say this. I assume because he said it's, it's a little thicker, that means it's also a little less sensitive, right? Well, then we have a problem because why is my phone suddenly not working? And he said that it's because it's an old phone. Look, we could have screwed up every phone. My phone, I have. My, my, this my phone, this one I have. Can you just answer the question? Is I there anything wrong with my phone? I think my phone is fine. Yeah. And then you put a screen on it, and then I have to hit it ten times yeah. to get it to maybe work. Maybe that's why. I mean, maybe he hit something wrong, and then you are sitting on your No, because I'm actually a computer person, and I am not a typical moron, so so something is wrong with my phone. I wasn't upset, because I assumed, I assumed that the screen... I'm missing you. I'm missing you. I'm missing you. At the same time, I'm missing you. But now you're telling me it couldn't be the screen. It's not screen, but I mean, you screen. For my own reason, I would not have taken off the old one if I didn't know there was going to be another one. Now that it doesn't exist on the planet, one to replace it with. So I'm not quick to take the other one off because I want, for my own reasons, that protection. I want it to remain good, uh, working, and um, I don't want it to get scratched. And this is how I will make my decision. I would have left my old one on, as crappy as it was. I had a little bubble in it. I would have left it on before I left the screen, even with the OtterBox on. Yeah. I want that on there. I would not have changed it if I knew that this was going to happen. So you're telling me, he said it's a little thicker. That could, I mean, I hear it clicking. When I, when I go like this, it feels like the little plastic is hitting the screen. I still want to believe it's just that, and I take it off, and it'll be fine. But this stuff that you use, the Ronson oil lighter fluid. Yeah. Is that okay to clean the screen with? Yeah, I'm, I'm cleaning all of, I'm cleaning LCD inside. And this one I'm using for Samsung or for iPad, you know? Then inside I'm cleaning. So that's not going to hurt anything? No, I'm cleaning with this one inside. Good to know. Yeah. That's why I called yesterday to make sure yeah. that my phone must be fine because it was fine before we changed the screen. Yeah. So what else could it be except the screen? I think you're digitizer. I, I want to see your phone, that's fine. What's wrong with this with your phone? I want to see.